Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked the question how you could get this logo to look like that with the roughing. They had yellow in it. I don't understand why they don't just use that logo, but unless they want to put yellow inside it later. But there's two ways to do it. And one of them, you have to have the, the object ungrouped together or not grouped. And you can use the roughing tool, which is underneath your smoothing tool. And there's a whole bunch of settings. Uh, I had it quite high, but you can lower your threshold of roughiness and I'm not doing a very good job. And you can change the angle, you know, make it uh, 45 degrees where they would jump straight off maybe. Uh, there's a lot of settings you can do in here and the smaller your number, let's go 0.15. And the smaller the number, the smaller your roughing is gonna be. And so that's one way to do it. The other way, and it's, I just did a video kind of like this on the other day. Um, well, I'll leave it alone. Is to use the distort tool. And when you get the distort tool, you have a zipper effect and you can click on that. And that's way too much because we've got, let's set this on like two and just click on that and you get a pretty good roughing effect. Now, the only problem I played around with this before, it doesn't do a, a good a job on this straight part. But once you had that, you can get your roughing tool again and, and rough it up. And I'm guessing the only reason they wanted to do that because they were gonna fill this in with yellow afterwards. And that was their goal. Anyway, I hope that, and you would use the roughing tool on the inside of that. But it looks pretty similar. This, I mean, whoever did this uh, took a lot of time or did a lot of good job or uh, know something I do not understand. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.